We are very concerned about the health and safety of our students and our teachers and staff. Good evening. A rally for scheduled changes to be undone in the Davis School District underway as Davis County is seeing its highest case count since the beginning of the pandemic with 97 confirmed cases of COVID-19. It comes as we're seeing another record-setting day for the virus in Utah. For the first time, more than 10,000 people tested in one day, and it brings a record 1,411 positive cases, including the single highest day of positive tests in Salt Lake County. Take a look at these numbers. The rolling seven-day statewide average, well, that is now up to 960 cases per day. And also, health officials confirming four new deaths. That total now is 448. Our team of new specialists are covering multiple angles tonight. We begin with Mike Anderson. And Mike, elementary students, they'll be going back to four days a week in the Davis School District starting Monday as cases there approach 100 today for the first time. Yeah, Ashley, you know, right now we've got teachers, uh, faculty, and student families all here. Uh, they have a lot of concerns, but tonight there is an extra focus on the Davis School District's intentions to drop that hybrid plan. Hybrid, I have as many as 36 kids in the class. We, we are at two-person tables. I cannot even distance them six inches, let alone six feet. That's Jennifer Baker, a teacher at Sunset Junior High. She's also a teacher's union steward. Elementary schools will go to four days a week of in-class learning starting Monday. Secondary schools will do the same in November unless the school board changes their minds. Baker says the number of quarantine per case count in Davis County is very low right now. She's concerned that number will shoot up as class sizes double. She adds that teachers are already working 60 to 70 or more hours a week. We have put a lot of effort into this and we're told originally by the district that we'd go through at least December on this schedule. And so to have it changed does undo a lot of the plans we have made. Baker says that uh, there's a lot of concern that the change will put not only teachers and faculty at risk, but also student families. So that's really why they're all here protesting here tonight. I think they're going to be wrapping up here fairly soon. But uh, there's also a teacher's group that are, or, I'm sorry, a parent's group that's in support of the hybrid plan. They're also here uh, working to raise uh, PPE supplies for teachers as well. Mike Anderson, Live at 5.